Yeah. So I'd like to ask, um, uh, well, I've heard that it can be hard for women working in comics to gain acceptance or respect. So in the Boston Metaphysical Society story, the character Caitlin O'Sullivan struggles to find her place in the man's world of, um, of having a career in the 1800s. Does her journey in any way reflect your own? Uh, yes, to a certain point, it does. Um, as a friend of mine once pointed out, uh, even if, a, 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 if I have a woman in a script as a supporting character, they're always bucking convention. Um, they always are. And that's probably because I've been doing that since, well, <laughs> since I was born. Uh, as you probably saw, uh, maybe, maybe not, in my bio, I used to fence Epe. And uh, when I started fencing Epe, it wasn't in the Olympics. Uh, there weren't any World Cup events. There weren't even any national events. So I was part of a group of 25 women who basically started women's Epe in the United States. And, uh, and a lot of men didn't want women fencing Epe because they felt it was the man's weapon and women should just be fencing foil which we all know is ridiculous, uh, but that's how they felt. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I think if in almost any career you want as a woman, woman you're, you're always bucking convention or stereotype to, uh, to a certain degree because people have certain expectations for gender roles and if you don't fit into them, um, they have a hard time processing that mentally. <laughs> <laughs>